More than 15 million Americans suffer from eczema, yet we still know very little about how it really affects people. Not just on the surface, but the emotional impact as well. With this video, we attempt to truly understand what it's like to suffer with eczema from the patients and caregivers that must live with it. These are their stories, in their words. It's just really itchy and sometimes it kept me up for a couple hours and I was really tired in the morning, especially when I had school the next day. That is ugly. <laughs> it's making me feel ugly. The last thing I feel like doing at night is sitting down and torturing my child every day by putting on these creams and she's, don't get it in my eyebrows, don't get it on my... When I do her wrist, I have to get it above her hand because if I get it on this part of her palm, then if she touches something, it gets on there. And, you know, it's like, oh. First time being an uncle, you know, she's the first one to have a, a, a child in our family, and uh, you know, I was holding her. Gina is her name. That's, that's her, my niece's name. I was holding her, and I was just kissing her, like you know, you know like kisses babies. How can you not kiss a baby? And she said, Joe. That's all she had to say, and I knew what she meant. Um, she didn't want me kissing her daughter. She didn't explain, no, I, she just went, uh -uh. Like, I'd just be outside for about half an hour and start getting itchy, and that's out for like two hours, and just constantly playing and sweating and everything. And I know by that point I'd be like uh, grabbing at myself and everything. And I don't really think you can get out of that without letting the entire team down. When Caroline's hands break out and the kids don't want to grab her hand or don't want to hold it because they say ooh or whatever, it, it hurts you as a parent because you feel like their self-esteem is being diminished. There are times where I'm just like, like ripping my skin off, trying to like, ugh, pain. you know you can't stop that you know you can't nothing's ever going to run smooth I mean I know nothing's ever going to be just hunky-dory there's always going to be something to to worry about or you know think about but I think sometimes I do it too often and I don't know how to how to change it I don't know how to while eczema can be a painful and uncomfortable condition Studies are showing that the psychological and emotional severity of this disease is significant. In other words, eczema affects patients beneath the surface, and the way we approach treating it should too. That's why Life Improvements for Eczema was formed, to raise awareness about eczema and assist the people affected by it. We've even developed the Eczema Assessment Tool, so patients can communicate the degree of emotional impact more clearly. To learn more about how we can help you help your patients, log on to nationaleczema.org today. I just wish I didn't have it. Together, we can make a difference in the lives of eczema patients and the people who love them.